Good motherfucking morning. Yo, what is up everyone? So picking up from where we left off in the last vlog, today is Sunday, it is a beautiful day. It is, right now, LA in January, feels like Dublin in summer. We're just about to make a plan for the day, head down to Sarah, she's in the apartment. And so, be sure to sit back, relax, give video a like, let's get this vlog started. All right, so you probably know where I am. I'm in Starbucks, which is when I travel, is like my office away from home. So I've got some ice Americanos, I got, these little kind of egg white sandwich things. That thing. And I'm just about to upload a YouTube video. So like I said, vlogging every day. Be sure to subscribe. I'm gonna enjoy this now, upload it, and then get on with the day. Okay, so today we decided to give the expo a miss. Um, I absolutely loved it yesterday, but it took so much out of us. By the end of it and by the end of the day, we were just like dead. So we decided to take a trip down to Santa Monica today, check out the Pardomas Workshop. It's something that I found out from Emily Hayden and Amanda Bucci. It is just like a workshop about like so many things, like fitness, photography, growing yourself as a brand. So I just decided to uh, stroll in and check it out. Also like Santa Monica, so we're like my favorite places ever. So any excuse to take a trip down there. I'm gonna catch up with um, everybody here pretty much, make some friends and then I'll check in with you in a bit. <laughs> yeah, he is adorable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey buddy, had a long day? The workshop is in CrossFit Sandbox. I literally feel like I'm losing my gains just standing here. I'm only joking, not really though. I'm just stepping out from the Pardomas seminar because I am so hungry. I'm gonna hit up my favorite place in the world. If you have me on Snapchat, you know that every time I go to Whole Foods, I just get so excited at the salad bar. I think there's something about me when it comes to serving myself my own food. I'm just like, yeah, you, you know how it is. That's where we're going to now, Whole Foods in Santa Monica. And oh my God, it is like the mildest day ever. It honestly is just like, Oh, going for a stroll just feels great. Thought I would give you a quick little look at my outfit. So it is white, athlete, fish LT, black, legend London jeans, and then gray Adidas tubulars. So yeah, I'm feeling myself today. I'm feeling good. What about me? You, okay. I'm like dressed the same as you. Almost matching. So Sarah is wearing uh, a... <laughs> <laughs> Pennies, pennies, <laughs> pennies top, pennies so crop top, so sue, so sue me jeans yeah. and shoes, <laughs> chasseurs. All right, so favorite place in the whole world, Whole Foods. I literally like just tear into the salad bar underneath there. Right, that's where you start with the salad. And you move over here, there's the protein, veggies, and everything. So I'm gonna show you what kind of concoction I put together. So let's see what we're working with here. So we got loads of like chickpeas, uh, mixed salad, jalapenos, chicken breast, some sriracha sauce on top of that, broccoli, peppers. There's like some corn in there, lentils down there too. This is like my favorite meal ever. I'm like one of those people that just really likes vegetables. So I'm gonna tuck into this now and then we're gonna head back, meet up with everyone. This right now for me is just bliss. Run us through what you got. I just got a small froyo. Good. Sprinkles, Cheerios and granola. Good choice, Saz. For today's drone voyage, we're taking a tour of Santa Monica. So we're gonna set up camp here in this random alley and see what we got. Just getting that sunset hour as well, which is absolutely perfect.
think about how you're presenting yourself on your social media. It's now not just a page where you post a cute picture you took with a friend or this or that. Not to say that that's not on there, but you have to think of every single post as this is helping my business in some way. Not just that, but it's representing your business. So every single thing that you put out there on social media, whether it's Instagram, Snapchat, Insta Story, YouTube, name them all, that's representing your business. So you just have to think about it that way. The way that you want to grow your brand is by being true to who you are. Because if you try and replicate someone else or try and be what you think people want you to be, they're never going to feel a connection with you. They're never going to tie into you and what you're doing and what your mission is because they won't feel that connection. If you're real and you let people in and you show them who you are and you're genuine and you show them the ups and the downs and everything that it goes that goes along with your journey and what you're experiencing, those are the things that they relate to. Then all of a sudden you have this person that's following your page. They're not just liking your photos. Now they're commenting. Now they're invested into your life, into your brand. You come out with merchandise and now they're like, oh yeah, I'm supporting that person because I was there and they went through this. One thing that I always really say is that like, like Emily said, like people get invested in people that they like and people that they can take things from. So you have to really think about what do you want to give to people? What what do you have to offer? Every single one of you has something different to offer to other people. And it could be individually that you guys are Marines or that like someone's a mom or someone like you guys are all going through something and you all have different aspects of your life that you're doing. Plus you're also trying to reach your fitness goals. Or plus you're also trying to reach your personal goals. You're trying to reach your business goals or something. And everyone's goal is to just continue to get better at whatever that they're doing, right? So that's how you kind of have to think about what you're putting out there on social media because that's how people are going to connect with you and that's how people are going to like continue to follow you, continue to invest in you. People don't tell you back, it's not the amount of work that's going to go in behind the scenes because no, no one's dream life just comes easy. So I Okay, so we've left Santa Monica and now we're back downtown about to get a workout in with a few people that we were meant to get a workout in last night. So let's do this. It is just down there. I actually find LA, for the size of it, it is so easy to get around. What's going on guys? I am training today with somebody that I've really wanted to train with for so long. That is none other than Jeff Nipper. What's up everybody? But yeah, uh, yeah, literally like I've mentioned Jeff a good few times on my channel, even on my peak week videos. Yo, I went to Jeff for advice. Like he's honestly, I always learn something from him, which is really saying something. So we're gonna hit a workout today. I'm really excited. It's gonna be a proper session. Like goals last night was just kind of hanging around, meeting subscribers, taking pictures. So, and we also got this big guy here as well. Hey, what's up guys? John Venus. I like to do a kneeling and kind of want the table like in line with the mid frontal plane. So like what, splits your body in the front half and the back half. And sort of just pull your, think about like driving your elbow straight down. And then you can flex your spine a little bit laterally. So like crunch into it. You should feel a really strong contraction in your lats. Um, so yeah, the idea is just like pre-activation, sort of like get the lats warmed up and like establish a mind-muscle connection basically. So I'll do 15 of these. And flex that way. Oh. Good. You control it and don't think about flexing here. Just bring your elbow down. There you go. So when I first started, I was doing three sets of 12, up to three sets of roughly 15, and just pushing that further and further. With the row, in this case, I am trying to work on the traps. So you really want to focus on scapular protraction and then retraction. So basically squeezing your shoulder blades together. So you want to picture, I don't know, something like a coin or something between your shoulder blades. You really think about driving back. That's going to train the, the mid traps more. Um, if you want to focus more on lats, what you want to do is train more shoulder extension. So that's bringing the arm basically straight down. This would be flexion, like in a front raise extension, would be bringing it down. So to kind of cue for that, what I think about is just driving my elbow straight down, and you'll really feel your lats contract. In this case, I'm thinking about bringing my elbows more back because I want to train the traps. So it kind of depends on what you want to get out of the movement.
Okay, so we're just like casually lifting away and then none other than Rick Prana just walks, <laughs> just walks into the gym. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to say hello. Like he, the dude is a legend to be fair. Rich, how's it going? What's up? Rob lifts it. You okay. got it, yeah. But uh, so we are uh, just ended up running into Rich Diana. Absolutely. What's up, everyone? <laughs> I'm here with Rob Lipsup, and we are killing it <laughs> at Goals Downtown LA. Right, brother? Oh my God, this is surreal. So like, we, you've just made this vlog. Oh, Thank that's awesome, so brother. Much. Well, let's uh, put the camera away and let's go finish our workout. Let's right? do it. Yeah, let's I'll do this. Shit. Love it. <laughs> Actually, one last thing to say. Say, say good fucking morning. Good motherfucking morning. <laughs> Uh, I just, I literally saw this angle shit all day today, <laughs> and yesterday. No, I'm sure that you're like. And then the first thing after the guy, the girlfriend takes the guy's picture, the guy gets his phone and he goes. <laughs> 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 and you've been seeing it all day. I think it's impossible to add angle wrist piano though, yeah, to be fair. Come on. Look at his face like this. And then it makes you feel bad, right? Yeah. <laughs> Legend. So right, good yeah. Appreciate it, man. After all yeah, honestly, awesome. Thank Cheers. You, Hope you had a nice awesome. weekend. Good Sweet. You guys. All right, people. So finishing up this vlog here. I hope you liked it. Uh, I just noticed I haven't eaten all day. I've been working out, walking so much. So to get some calories in, I am halfway through a pizza. Whatever it takes. God damn it. Hope you liked it. Give the video a thumbs up if you did. I'll see you in the next one.